Excited. I'm about to get hungry. Yeah, Period. I'm about to go DXP. DXP, baby. Period. I'm gonna get a what we get? Firecracker, twelve firecracker. You're gonna get a firecracker. Probably for appetizer. What? What appetizer are you gonna get? Appetizer and the drink. Oh, the drink. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, apple ties? I thought oh, you said appetizer. Said appetizer. Yeah, yeah, oh. Appetizer. I'm so appetizer. done. Appetizer. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you don't know, I'm, I don't know why you don't know, but this is obviously Suze. If someone asks you, why are you always on holiday with Dummy, what are you going to say? That's my bitch. That's my bitch. That's my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, like, I never thought that I would be going to the same country with the same person twice. But number one, Dubai is just that country. Like you literally, there's so much to do there. You won't get bored. And number two, Suzanne is my babe. Like I always got holiday with her because we always have a great time when we're together. And that's just that. Again, my hair is completely frizzed, but I'm so in love with it. Now. It's still giving. It's giving what it's supposed to give. But yeah, we're gonna eat, and I'll probably talk to you guys when we get to Dubai. Actually, there's not much to say like on the plane and stuff. So yeah. because I'm so unimpressed with the Emirates flight. I feel like that was my first time taking an Emirates flight, yeah, and I just feel like everyone just hyped up and I don't understand, like, I, I, yeah. I, the last time we came to Dubai, we went with BA and honestly, it was the most comfortable, like, flight, like, all the stuff was friendly and everything. And we were just like, yeah, everyone hypes about how great Emirates is, so let's just try Emirates this time. But it was, I was so underwhelmed. Honestly, I can't even lie to you guys. The seats were so uncomfortable. The like customer service was a bit like whack. I, yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like Emirates would be better as business class than BA. But for economy, BA is actually where it's at, I can't lie. I feel like if I was to come here again, I'll definitely, I'll definitely opt for BA. But um, yeah, the most important thing is that we got here safely, thank God. So um, yeah, and this hotel is banging guys. We're staying at the Five Palm. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to show you guys our room and the view. I can't wait to look cute. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah, a little bit tired. I'm gonna actually sleep on a plane, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I was telling them how uncomfortable it is. Yeah, literally, I couldn't see it. One, I'm sitting up, it's already ghetto. <laughs> Yeah, it just wasn't given. Yeah, it wasn't given. But yeah, anyways, everyone's experience is different, but that's our experience. Will I be taking Emirates again? Not if it's not business. Yeah, I basically need to get my money up. Yeah, like, literally. <laughs> not if it's not business. Anyways, I'll see you guys when we get our room. So this is our room. This is what you see when you first come in. I think this is just a door to the bathroom. So maybe we should go into there first actually. So you have like a freestanding bath here, which is actually quite massive. The tiling is so cute. There's like so much space <laughs> to do your makeup in here. And then I think this is a shower, I believe. No, that's the other door. So this is where the toilet and stuff is. 
Um, and then you've got the shower just next door here. Really cute. This is like wardrobe space. Mm -hmm. So you've got a safe there. How do you open these ones? Oh, from here. Like that, yeah, wow. Honestly, I feel like I need to sh like show you guys how wide it is. It literally comes from there. Literally, that's how much space you have to put your stuff. That's a lot of space. And we come into the bed area. So here, there's a desk and a chair. The TV's over there. There's another seating area over here. And then this is the bed. You've got your refreshments over here. The mini bar. Oh my gosh, guys. And then we've got the view. Honey. Honey, honey, honey. This, this right here. This right here. Let me try to open this door. This door is heavy. This right here though, guys. Whew. This is beautiful, like. This is the view. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually super happy because check-in is actually usually at three, um, but they let us check-in early. So we've got like a sun lounger here and then we've got two chairs here. Hey guys, so we're ready now and we're off to blah blah Dubai. Um, just a little, you know, little something cash to ease you all into the sleigh. my hair is you know what i love curly hair but the one thing i hate about it is how dry it especially in dubai heat like this thing fizzes up like crazy i need to still figure out how to maintain this while i'm on holiday in a hotel now we're probably just gonna chill um and then get ready for our reservations later on tonight like i said today is just a really chill day we've just arrived today so yeah we don't want to burn ourselves out so quickly versace trucks i hit my back stroke all i really take is a little taste i like girl blue eyes with a little bass here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away? Shimmy, shimmy, I got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this, a probate. You hit the line and tried to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Two, too crazy, and I got bad ones, and they ready. A good time, so now it's in New it, we left that. So we off to Asia, Asia to go and eat some food. I'm super excited because I'm actually quite hungry. Are you hungry? Little bit, little bit. Super hungry. Are you super hungry? Super, super hungry. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, this pit is so cute, guys. Do you guys think of this look? Keeping it cash. But, yeah. gonna drink this now anyways yeah guys so we're back in the hotel we asked the hotel for some ice because we want to do some shots Just, you know end the first day right of course got some patron and then we've also got mango rum we haven't been able to go to the shop so we don't actually have any mixers which is why we're taking shots and which is why we're gonna be finished but it's okay and they only had like teacups so yeah it's killing the vibe a little bit but this is what is inside. This is gonna send us straight to bed though. This is not a shop. It is a shop. Okay, no, we have to drink this together. Are you going to down it? Anyway, they're gonna see you on camera. The first one to finish it gets to the, no, no, no. The first one to finish it gets to do something. 
Like what? I don't know. That's very your shit at this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. That wasn't actually too bad. No, but guys, I actually finished my cup and she's dulling. Wow. Yeah. You let me down. <laughs> mm -mm. No, 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 thank you. How have you found your first night? My first day was good. Oh yeah, your first day. <laughs> How was your yeah. first day? Yeah, my first day was good. It was really calm and chilled. I don't know if you guys know, but we've actually been to Dubai. Well, you probably do, but we've been to Dubai before and we've done all the touristy stuff. So this is more like, a different kind of vibe it's just eat sleep vibe and repeat eat sleep vibe drink repeat literally um so yeah not much is gonna happen tonight we're just gonna chill um and then see you guys tomorrow good night all i really take is a little taste i like girl blue eyes with a little bass here for the thrill i don't need a chase sir wanna vibe it to get away shimmy shimmy yeah i got the semi four way don't step out the line like this a probate you hit the line and try to locate this for the time got time for no day Whoa. too many i'm going Two. too crazy and i got Three. bad ones and they ready Four. a good time so now it's the second morning in dubai dxb baby um and yeah that was such a nice rest it's so nice to wake up and not have to rush to do something which is what i'm used to in london like it's just it's just a vibe hey we've had to just change the itinerary a little bit because um yeah logistically it makes sense because like there's so many things to do in dubai and they're in so many different places that like it just needs to make sense where you're traveling to so it's not going to make sense unless you're the person who usually plans trips for your group which is me <laughs> but but um yeah anyway so today we are going to um the shooting range and then we're going to go to the dubai mall and then go to enish later which i'm super excited about i'm actually really nervous for the shooting range because i don't think i've actually ever held a gun before i don't even know why i'm saying i think <laughs> this is so off brand <laughs> but um yeah no i don't think I, yeah i haven't i feel like i've seen a gun being fired but i haven't actually held a gun and and the context of that i was in nigeria <laughs> i was in nigeria and um basically a fight broke out i don't even think i want to name names or whatever a fight broke out and then someone went into the house to get a gun they didn't shoot it at anyone they shot it at the air to scare the people that they were arguing with just the sound that i heard of the gun and obviously i like it, it scared me so much that i fell down and when i fell down i fell into a gutter and my cousin literally came up to me and she was like you better stand up because sometimes there's snakes in the gutter and you know how i'm so fat i've never got up so quickly in my life like it was <laughs> it was actually really funny like but um yeah anyways that's the only time i feel like i've ever come across a gun so i'm i'm really nervous because this, if the sound was you know scary enough for me to fall down then yeah hmm so much has actually changed let me just say that like the airport has changed some of the like architecture in dubai has changed and it's only been four years and i love that for this country i can't lie to you because it's just like they're really it just shows how innovative they are honestly i just love it for this country it's, it's amazing but um yeah that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna make makeup the heat is a lot so like it makes you question do you want to wear makeup or not but this holiday is all about slaying <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do can't get over this view i'm just really grateful i thank god for this opportunity I'm grateful for the ability to be able to pay for this kind of hotel to be able to experience dubai like this like it's just amazing and i'm so grateful and i'm so happy to be able to do that with my babe um yeah we really deserve it and i just pray that this is just something that we can incorporate in our lives like more regularly because baby this stuff life suits us this suits us bad okay i'm running a bit late so i'm gonna go and get ready and then i'll probably see you guys when we leave yeah this sun is doing a lot uh, it's cute Yeah, they come so quickly. Wow. We were literally supposed to leave at one, but of course, 
we had to slay and then take pictures and then slay some more so um yeah we're on our way at 3 30. um apparently the ja shooting club is a walking thing um so hence the reason why yeah i don't think it makes it's not that bad that we're leaving at this time um but yeah she's gang gang it ever used to be this expensive to get married no because guys i feel like that's something that actually gives me anxiety listen and my friends that are getting married now or have just got married they've just like missed the because i feel like when it's our time it's going to be more expensive that's what i'm thinking it's just going to get more expensive but then how does that work with obviously like i've got a house already but how does that work when you meet someone you want to you get obviously want to get married have a house and yeah. then have babies I all in the same like i don't know how people are doing it i don't i actually don't know Mentally, yeah, i'm trying to prepare myself as much as i can now even though like i'm not engaged or anything like that but yeah i just feel like it's good to well smart, enjoy yeah. myself let me try it's good and put some money away i would preferably like a guy that is making a decent amount of money because how else is all of this gonna yeah. be funded like yeah it needs to make sense like, let's be honest but yeah, before this, we were just talking about like, it was just funny because she's almost like when she's in the shower, that's when she thinks about like her life. It's just that I found that so funny because who else does that? Like, I'm pretty sure people do do that, but I don't do that. So it was just funny to hear. Yeah, no, it's not even weird. I feel like it makes sense. Because I like, do you know? Do you know? Why I feel like it makes sense. Because when I'm stressed, yeah, I like looking at water, like going on walks oh, near oh, water, okay. and just staring at the water. Oh, so I can understand why in the shower yeah, that would be comforting. Yeah, yeah, I can understand it, but yeah, I don't do it. But I can understand. But it was just so funny because it's like you're bathing, but you're also thinking about your life. <laughs> so it's kind of like yeah. the two together just makes me laugh. But yeah, let me know if you guys do that in the comments. She was just like, how if she didn't have to go places, she'll be in there longer than she needs to. <laughs> like, we were supposed to be traveling for her birthday this year to Dubai. It was just like, she would rather save it for her 30th. So then we were like, why don't we push it to, towards the end of the year so that we can have time to like lose the weight. That was the initial reason why we booked it this late. Otherwise we would have gone earlier. And then this today we were just talking about how like what we envisioned our body to be like on this trip is just far from <laughs> from reality and it's just funny because life will really humble you like that like she's just talking about how she's gained weight and i've certainly gained weight but she still looks amazing though this next chapter of my life is so different i've even got a new camera just so that i can bring you guys along with me hd style okay so get ready oh my gosh you've even got the chanelis on <laughs> she got the Chanelis on. You look so good. So he said, This is the one that. Oh, eh. <gasps> yeah, we're not doing none of those. <laughs> um, he said, The Glock 44 is the one with literally no pushback. And of course that's the one I'm going for because I mean look at me. <laughs> and actually now that we're here, I'm feeling super nervous. That's all about new experiences. Of course. Just true. let them but it's like nervous excitement, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nervous excitement. No. But I'm never gonna do this again, so I feel like this is yeah this is maybe one for the books. Literally just one for the books. We're out. Oh my gosh, guys. That was such a fun experience. Like, I would actually recommend you guys to do it. Honestly, like, I am, um, I was so nervous to do it, and they make you feel so much at ease. Like, I've actually held and used a gun. That's crazy. What would you give it out of 10? 10, 10 experience. Yeah, 10, 10 experience. 10, 10. Same. And it grows really quickly, and like, you have someone, like, a professional with you at all times. So, it's, it's lit. The only thing I will say though is that the air do do shit and every time I could hear her firing I was literally like jumping. <laughs> i
the time, got time for no day one Too many, I'm going Too crazy and I got Bad ones and they ready A good time, so now we Hey y'all, sorry my battery died when we was in the Dubai mall um, But I've tried to insert some footage somewhere in this vlog about what we got up to today after the shooting range um, But yeah, now we just quickly freshened up and we're on our way to Ennish So we're gonna go eat and then there's like an after party there so that's where we're going um, I'll insert some pictures and videos <laughs> Oh, uh, do you know how funny that is? You were like... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, what the fuck is this about? You were like... My heart! Got I was like, oh god, I know there's you. no way out of this. <laughs> I paid you paid that. already. <laughs> the Nigerian in me, no matter how scared I am, I must get my money's worth. <laughs> It's lit. Hey guys, so we're back from Aura, Aura Sky Pool. Um, but you know, like we got into the pool, so you know, like when your body starts to feel like icky after you've been into the swim pool. So we're changing, and obviously for the sake of content, I've changed my bikini. So I'm gonna try and get some fire pictures in this, and then we're gonna go to um, the beach that's in our hotel. It's popping tonight, so that's well, it's popping this afternoon, so that's where we're going. Hey guys. We are about to drive the motherfucking boat. <laughs> so yeah, we're really gonna drive the boat today. Let me hold you guys. It might actually be easier. Throw your head back, you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Oh one more? Yeah, of course. Period. Okay, are you gonna do three? Yeah. Oh, honey. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Going straight to the hair. Straight to the hair. Straight to the hair. <laughs> okay, I'm doing yours now. <laughs> okay, I don't trust you. I can't lie. I don't know what you put me through today. <laughs> you better. Okay, okay, go on, honey. You got this. Yeah, it's not that bad. And you put it in my mouth. Yes. Yeah. No, my <laughs> Okay, okay, let's do that again. But you have to bend your head back, bro. <laughs> this is my steady hand. <laughs> I cannot go. <laughs> like, really, sis? Oof. Oof. I'm gonna have to wash it down with this. Ooh, oh, that's how you feeling, girl? That's how, that's how you feeling, joking, girl? I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. Hey, um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing that because I'm not really feeling it here. Um, so we're gonna try other plans, but yeah, this is the vibe, we're just chilling at the moment. Hey guys, so we're back in the hotel room. Yeah, oh, beach in the Five Palm. 
was not really yeah it wasn't really what we expected um we ended up having to get a refund because we waited like an hour for food and the drinks weren't flowing like they were supposed to um so we left super early and we're back here so i'm just gonna eat some leftovers that i have from cheesecake factory and um yeah just chill in the hotel guys i've been quite shit um with vlogging like the sun is just making me really really tired we are off to the dubai marina we're gonna try and see if we can um get a yacht you're looking very very sweet so what are you much. telling them? I don't know, like, just feeling myself. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Bad and bougie. A little bit. So. Yeah, Burberry. <laughs> Miss Gucci! <laughs> All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, I got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this, a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. War. Too many, I'm going. Too crazy, and I got bad ones, and they ready. So I've changed my hair into this bob. I'm not entirely sure if I'm feeling it, but I'm gonna. Manage it tonight and then see how I feel tomorrow. hey friends hey i don't even know what day we're on now i think it's like four or five yeah um i'm not sure either. we've got another hair change because yeah i wasn't feeling the look yesterday what have we been doing all day babe <laughs> sleeping <laughs> Sleeping, sleeping, and some more sleeping. Yeah. sleeping. But went to Sky 5 yesterday. Um, it was a vibe. We'll insert some clips here or whatever. Um, so today, we're gonna go to Madness to eat some food and then probably chill later. Tomorrow we have the gold sook and yeah. So we've got like an early morning-ish tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah let's go we're gonna i'm finally gonna take my camera for the past few days i haven't been able to take my camera but this time i'm gonna take my camera we're not wearing any makeup because it's really just a casual vibe <laughs> So we've got some oots. 
some perfumes. Yeah, I'm like really excited about some of these scents. Hey guys, so this is the last day um, and today we're having a really chill day. We've got the spa booked um, with some lunch. So I think we're having lunch first and we've got the spa. Um, so I'll take you guys along with us. The last few days have just been really, really quiet, um, to be honest. I feel like we've just been resting, which is what we needed to do. Sorry there's like Nollywood movies playing in the background. Um, but yeah, it's just been really nice. Do you know what? I feel like it's been really nice because we've been able to chill. Like London for us is just so busy. There's just so much to do. There's never really rest period. So like being um, here and being able to rest, watch films and chill with each other has just actually been quite nice. where we're gonna answer some questions about our trip together. Okay, so the first one is nice and easy. Where is the best place you've had the best meal on this trip? I think the food I had yesterday kind of answered really Okay. Yeah, okay. I feel like the Cheesecake Factory food was really up there. It sounds so basic, but honestly, like, the Cheesecake Factory food is 10-10, I'm not even gonna lie. And we've eaten at like, some real bougie restaurants here. I feel like the second would have been Asia Asia, but it was let down by the main course, the starter, and the dessert was phenomenal, but the main course was just so rubbish. What is something new that you've learned about me on this trip? What I learned about Susan, like she's she's always been really funny, but on this trip, I've seen like a really goofy, funny side to her, and I love it. We are actually like, quite similar in terms of like our goofiness and our like banter and stuff which is something i knew but i've never seen it in full effect as i have on this trip what the hell <laughs> what gave you that impression she is the bougiest the highs and lows then my highs spending time with you oh busting gun <laughs> that's mine as well that's and mine that's literally mine um going to the to the aqua Aqua Sky Pool. Oh, sorry, Aura Sky Pool was just stunning. Guys. I'm scared of heights, but I found it because what? Definitely crazy. something you have to do is the views are phenomenal. Like it's actually insane. My low is tomorrow. I feel like I second everything she just said. You can't do that. Yes, okay. You can't oh. do that, mate. Okay, I mean, my one. Say it in, in your own way. No, 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 no. 
I think um, my high has to be the guns. I'd like, yeah, that was a really good experience. And obviously spending time with my babe, always a high. Like we've literally had uninterrupted time because we can't FaceTime anybody, we can't call anyone. It's literally just like messages on WhatsApp and stuff. So I've had it all to myself. Um, but yeah, that's my high. I think my low, we have to go home tomorrow, is a low. Yeah, it's quite sad. But I've really, really enjoyed myself. I feel like this trip was so needed to just reset my life, yeah. refresh, come back to London and just grind hard again because I love spending money, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan for today, girl? We are chillaxing. Mm -hmm. We just had such a lip massage. Yeah. So we're just at the detox. What is it? It's like the poolside area of the yeah. spa. Um, and then we're gonna, what are we doing after? Chilling, I think. Yeah, we're gonna watch Manifest. Oh my gosh, guys! We started watching Manifest. Super, super cool series. I feel like everyone should watch it. It's been amazing. Um, so this is what we've been doing to occupy our time with some Nigerian movies because this is her love language. I love a, love, I love a Yoruba movie. That's her love language for real. Amazing. Like, I, I don't know. I might see you guys later. But honestly, we are just chilling. There's not much that we're doing. And then obviously tomorrow we're just going to have breakfast and then go to the airport. Is there any last words that you have for our vlog? So what, are you not going to do like a last breakfast? Maybe another breakfast? No. Guys, I recommend you work hard play hard and obviously if you haven't come to Dubai definitely use it yeah amazing I am hopefully going to be traveling a lot more I want to um so yeah hopefully I'll be picking up my camera pretty pretty soon but I love you guys so much thank you for rocking with your girl bye guys see you again soon Mwah. guys I know we said goodbye yesterday but I just thought why not to show you guys the official last day um not even last day because we're on the airport on our way to the airport now um but yeah i just thought maybe we could share some tips and like if they haven't been to dubai before what would you what tips would you give them uh, i would say bring as much money as you can yeah like don't be tight on yourself here so you can have the best time or i feel like it's more like have like realistic expectations i feel like dubai you can make it as cheap or as expensive as you want so just have realistic expectations like i'm not even gonna lie on ubers alone um we should probably spend like 200 pounds each that's i'm not even joking because probably it, it probably even more that's like me being like generous and I, the thing is i feel like the last time we came here we stayed on Sheikh Zayed Road so I feel like if you're if you're coming here to like just party and stuff definitely stay on Sheikh Zayed Road and then travel into the Palm um, but obviously we this time stayed in the Palm and it's more for like scenic views like if you stay at the Palm it's more for like beach views having a pool like scenic views if, 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 if I'm making sense whereas if we stayed at the because a lot of the things that we wanted to do like Enish and the, the party clubs and stuff like that they're all on the Sheikh Zayed Road and it's about 20-30 minutes away from the Palm so I said all of that to say <laughs> I said all of that to say, if you know you're going for views, the beach, blah blah blah, then stay at um, the Palm Jumeirah. But if you're like wanting to do the nightlife here, eat like lots of like, eat at some of the bait restaurants that like you see on Instagram and TikTok and stuff, then it's best for you to sh stay at Sheikh Zayed Road. The Uber from the Palm Jumeirah to the Sheikh Zayed Road is about 20, 20 pounds one way. So imagine doing that like every single day because you want to like. How, like go to some of these big places is, is actually works out. Um, or if you're a confident driver, I'll get a car. See, yeah, I mean, ugh, I wouldn't even recommend that, you know, I can't lie. I mean, it makes sense, but I wouldn't even want to. I feel like the country is too strict for you to like risk it. I feel like I'm, I'm a sick driver. I feel like I'm a sick driver and I still wouldn't feel comfortable driving here. Another reason is because it's um, a different hand side. So I, I can't even I can't tell you if they drive on the left or the right I don't know how that works but it's the opposite side to, <laughs> it's the opposite side to how we drive in London the safest thing is just to get an Uber or maybe like 
have a driver that like one driver that can take you everywhere but i just want to say thank you guys so much if you haven't already please like comment share subscribe it's been lovely it's been lovely having you guys join us on our holiday um and yeah it's been lovely i wish you guys all well make sure you try and enjoy yourself if you can book that flight because it's so worth it and i feel like in the current climate that we're in now it's really good to have things to look forward to i feel like that's what keeps me going like being able to change my environment go on holiday i just you know de-stress and do nice things for myself and spend it with good company i feel like it's so important what is life like you have to you know you have to do things that make you happy 